we follow what the analysts are saying, I think it's going to be very popular. So if you look at IDC, Gartner, they're all saying this is the next big thing um, coming. Azure Stack is, is going to be a very fastly adopted platform. I think it's going to be a challenge for IT departments because, like I said in one of the previous questions, is about removing some of the admin overhead for IT departments. Now, IT staff generally don't like that. It's a black box. I don't know what's going on in there. Because in the past, they've operated the virtualization layer, the storage layer, the networking layer. This is now an appliance that they get. Uh, so they are having to trust the platform effectively. So that will be hard. But I think the, bus the way that businesses are trying to innovate now, be, you know, be it DevOps, those types of things, bringing that in as your stack will help drive f the innovative solutions forward. So they're going to have to do it, whatever. But it's just that comfort factor initially will be, will be low, I think. Whoever you are in, a, in an IT department now, um, you've got to be comfortable with something called Visual Studio. That's the linchpin behind Azure and Azure Stack. It's the same platform, remember. Um, and the reason being, use Visual Studio to develop your applications and to deploy them to Azure or Azure Stack. Um, but you also use that tooling to manage your Azure environment. So it's a very template-driven world. So you create these things called JSON templates and you deploy those to public Azure or private Azure. So Visual Studio becomes a new tool for IT departments. It's been around for a, quite a while, but it's always been sat in that developer camp, whereas now it's an IT operations tool as, as well um, as the developer side of things as well. So new tooling comes in, um, but reaching outside of the Microsoft stack, you've got things like Jenkins, Mesosphere, these ups, up and coming great technologies for deploying to containers and things like that, which will hook into Azure stack. So remember, because Azure Stack is a private version of Azure, you've got all of the APIs that you would have in public Azure, so it's already very well developed. So all of these, this ecosystem of applications now sit around it, so you can use those to deploy into Azure Stack. 